for Valorant's webinar. Long time no see, we miss you so much. We are so glad that you could join us here today. And so today we're gonna talk about sweepstakes. What is this vertical about? How to run effective campaigns? And of course, we'll show you statistics that you should know before you start working. We will tell you everything about setting your campaign and optimizing it. We will show you some creative guides that will help you create kick-ass uh, strategies in order to capture the attention of your audience and show you how to make these creatives in accordance to our policy. And of course, we'll show you the best practices and examples of ineffective campaigns, so you will see the real examples. And at the end of the webinar, we'll have a Q&A session, so you have a chance to ask your questions not only in the chat box, but also in a special questions tab that you have in the live storm. And uh, yes, thank you very much for those who uh, asked us wonderful questions on Facebook and other social networks. And today we have a prize draw, as I remember, right? Uh, yes, and the person who asked the most terrifying, exciting and, uh, I don't know, thrilling question will get... $100 for your campaigns in Propellerance. <laughs> right, participate in this competition and win $100. Mm -hmm. So. Let's dig into the topic and Maria, could you please tell us a little bit more what Sweepstake Vertical is? Well, the ancestor of this vertical was the lottery. So people always hope that someday the <laughs> gold shining star is going to shine upon them and they will get lucky and get something really wonderful, exciting or expensive for free. So from the point of uh, online sweepstake, it is an offer that uh, tempts the user to uh, share their personal data in exchange for participation uh, for an expensive price, for example, an iPhone or a gift card or anything like this. Uh, those are the kinds of categories we can find in this vertical. I have already mentioned the mobile phones, of course, the flagship uh, models of uh, such manufacturers like Apple and Samsung are always at sweepstake and uh, probably this is the most frequent offer but we shall know about this a little bit later yeah. uh, also we have gift cards those are gift cards for different uh, popular and well-known uh, markets and uh, supermarkets like amazon like uh, walmart Wa walmart Ocean and or something else or anything else, right? Uh, cash price can also be put at stake. Electronic gadget, any, any uh, electronic gadget except for mobile phone and home appliances. And the mystery category, others. Uh, those are the little, probably local types of offers that are not widespread much, but altogether they can bring as much profit as, for example, one of the categories that are more popular, like mobile phones or gift cards. And uh, we will expand this topic a little bit later as well. We'll show you statistics at the second part of the webinar. Let's move on to the types of offers within this sweepstake vertical. So let us remind you that we will give you like the basics and it doesn't mean that all these categories are spread widely in propeller ads so we give you like the examples. The first category is SOI and DOI which stand for single opt-in and double opt-in offers. The second category is credit card submit and last but not least mobile subscriptions. Let's look at them more detailed. Mm -hmm. So SOI and DOI offers. These are type of offers when users have to leave their info about email address or any other details about themselves. And in case of DOI double opt-in, they should to verify their email address or take part in special polls or questionnaires and provide any extra info. So Maria, what are your suggestions for Geodes to work with in SOI and DOI? D -O -I? <laughs> SOI and DOI. No, <laughs> those I could speak like Russian. Soy doi. Soy doi. Those are like <laughs> Chinese rap stars. Soy doi. So, what are your recommendations <laughs> for geos? Uh, top geos list looks very predictable because people from the tier one countries are more willing to take a little bit of risk in order to get uh, an expensive reward. So, the uh, top of the list is quite predictable USA, Canada, Europe, Australia, and we have also highlighted the certain. Asian countries, especially India. The situation with India 
is such? Well, the CTRs in India, uh, in this particular vertical, probably does not look that impressive. But we should remember that India is one of the most populated countries in the world, so the amount of traffic is enormous. That is why it's up to you. You may use a top geo where the CTRs are high and get profit from that, or you can scale the volume and get a uh, uh, and get profit from the huge traffic that you can get in India. So it's up to you to decide. Both ways work. Okay. Another type of sweepstake offer is a credit card submit. This type of sweepstake may be legally permitted in a few countries around the world, but generally we do not recommend because since it, it can result in fraudulent activity. Uh, that's true. Users do not seem to trust this type of sweepstake, especially now that data protection awareness is growing. They are not willing to provide their financial information. And that is why we highly recommend you to avoid such types. Yeah. And the third type of the offer is mobile subscription. Here are users who have mobile devices and play mobile games are targeted. So they should leave the info about their cell phones, the numbers or any other personal info in order to subscribe to the service or take part in the lottery or in a draw. Right, and uh, I hope that I am not offending anyone right now, but I believe that every person on earth, I know that it, uh, it can be not true, but still I believe that almost every person uh, in this world has a mobile phone, so the geo is not limited. While limiting yourself when everyone is, uh, when everyone uh, has, uh, has a mobile phone, uh, so that, that's pretty much it. Try different combinations, for example, oh, from my personal experience, I know that sweepstakes convert well in African countries, for example, South Africa, which is one of the richest countries in the region, and the uh, citizens of United Arab Emirates are also willing to put something at stake. And by the way, since you know me that I'm a creative pro and I uh, re really, I am really concerned about the creatives and about our policy, I have left some policy Easter eggs in this presentation. So every time you see an example of a creative, you probably mention that something's wrong. If you mention that, write us in the chat and you will be rewarded. Mm -hmm. So, can I start? Uh, right! So, I guess... Can have you mentioned something in the previous slide? Uh, yes, on uh, the picture on the left, I've wait, mentioned... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Probably the guys know something. Guys, is everything okay, okay with the picture? Let us know in the chat. Did you mention anything mm. on the image on the left, as I said before? That was a hint. Nope. Nobody? Oh, right. Man, the, the log. log. Samuel, the log. I want to win. Want the to. log. The logo. The logo. That's Samuel, right. welcome Good back. Good job, Samuel. You are so consistent in terms of attending our webinars, and we're so happy that you are back with us today. Uh, yes, the Apple logo is an absolute ban from propellerettes, and we will touch upon this topic. And I am really glad that you have mentioned this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the numbers. Yes, the tech girls talk about the numbers. Oh Some serious stuff starting. I know that many of you would like to know the info what CDRs or what CPM to focus on, so let's look at the next slide with the statistics. Mm -hmm. Here are top countries by the revenue that provided uh, uh, users of our platform the biggest revenue for the previous year. So here, you can see the average numbers. So real numbers can be lower or higher, they can be different, but here are the average ones. CTR for push and native and CPM for on click. Among the countries that we already mentioned, like United States or some European countries, you can see some geos like Chile, Brazil or Malaysia. 
that can really bring you a good result and good profit. So probably these are geos that you need to focus on during your first or the next sweepstake campaign in Purple Red. So focus on these geos. Uh, yes, it is actually a great tip for those who all, who starts uh, the um, the affiliate career in Propeller yeah. Reds in particular, right? Yes. And uh, uh, since you've mentioned Chile, Brazil, and Malaysia, uh, since I'm a culture vulture and I, I like to make investigation about the countries and the geos that we're targeting campaigns to, uh, I uh, suppose that these countries are very superstitious. They believe in luck, they believe in destiny, so probably that was the reason why sweepstakes are uh, getting good profits and convert well in this uh, regions. Yeah. So, yeah, always make a cultural investigation. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. And we move on to the next slide. And here you can see the same offers that Maria described previously, but with the numbers. So here you can see that such offer types of gift cards, mobile phones and cash prizes are on the top of the list. So probably if you just start working with a sweepstakes and do not know what offer to start with, so choose one of these three options and you will win. Yes, and as we've said before, it's a cohort of small offers that either work for only one geo or it's a very local offer uh, with a local store gift card, for example. But altogether, this category accounts for 12% of all the sweepstake offers. So if you don't have an offer for more popular prizes, you may start launching, uh, launching a few other campaigns for various geos. Yeah. And I guess we inspired you to start your first sweepstake campaign right now. But before you start, we will focus on the, some technical points and some creativeness that you need to use while you create your first campaign. So, let's start with the ad format. The first step that you need to make is to choose the ad format. Propeller Ads provides three different options like push notifications, native ads and on-click. Push notifications is the most popular ad format, which allows you to create campaign personal for your users, like talk one-to-one. -one. It works perfectly both for desk desktop and mobile phones, so here you go. Try push notifications. Uh, by the way, I <laughs> wanted to talk to the audience again. Uh, guys, we know the rumors about the upcoming new version of Google Chrome, which launches, uh, I guess, on the 5th of February. And there is a rumor that uh, this new update is going to kill push notifications. What do you think on the topic? Do you think that push notifications are destined to vanish? We we personally don't know. <laughs> we we're we're try, trying to predict this, but uh, the results are I don't. No way, said Ahmed Wahib. Thank you very much. I th yeah. this is this is the, the the only reaction I ever wanted to hear <laughs> because I want to stay positive and I really hope that such wonderful format will live forever. And by the way, uh, we're going to add a, a link to the chat about uh, the Chrome 80 yeah. and uh, what is uh, ahead of push notifications and what its destiny. Yeah, unlikely. Yes. Push from website. They You're cannot kill allowed. push. Sam Joy, yes. thank you. This is this is my motto go for today. Push, go, go push, go push, go push. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to the next ad format. Probably while you're typing your comments, I will tell you about the next ad format that we provide in Propeller Ads. It's called Native Ads. The uh, advantage of this ad format that it it doesn't look like the ad itself, it looks like the website's content. So the, your ads will be mimicking the content which is good for sweepstakes. Mm -hmm. And many of you who previously worked with Propeller Ads asked where the interstitial ad has gone. So we would like to say you don't worry please guys, interstitial and native ads were just merged together. And if you would like to run ad campaign for interstitial only, you can still make it. Just go to the campaign's creation page, to the bottom of it, choose zone type and choose the drop-down, zone type interstitial. And in this case, you will receive the feed from interstitial zones. In this case, interstitial campaign will be created easily. And the third option that we have is on-click. 
the most trusted ad format that can allow you to work without pre-landers and allow you to show a lot of useful info to the users in just one click, which is pretty good for sweepstakes as well. Yeah, here are the options. And let's look how it works in different ad formats. Uh, right, every format has its peculiarity and every format is unique, so uh, they require a special approach. And <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just paying attention to the chat and I see namaste to all my fellow Indian brothers and sisters. This is so good to have Aww. such friendly people around us. Yeah. Namaste. Okay, let's move to the push notification strategy. How to create a funnel and how to lead a person to the conversion. So, uh, push notification is an extremely personal format as we've already told uh, and it's a uh, it's a great possibility to talk to a user one on one you start with a bait for example you send a personal notification like a message and uh, you give a little hint about the possibility to win uh, something expensive for example a gadget or I don't know trip to Seychelles for example and uh, after that you lead a person to an interactive pre-landing page uh, <clears throat> this is what I call uh, emotion and, uh, and time investment. Uh, a person should spend a little bit of time uh, and invest a little bit of emotion in order to value the data he is giving out. So when, you, uh, for example, you, when you have a chance to fill in the questionnaire or to fill uh, to fill some ways to spin the fortune wheel, which is very very. <sighs> yeah. And we have like, I'm sorry for interrupting you, Maria, but we have like suggestions about your policy quiz that mm -hmm. the landing page has the Google. Is it correct having like the name or the brand name Google on the landing page or on the pre-lander? Uh, thank you, an attentive, a uh, very attentive uh, viewer, spectator. But the thing is that you are not allowed to speak from the name of a brand. For example, how satisfied are you with Google? It is a question about a brand, not from the name of the brand. For example, Google asks you, do you like our services? This will be forbidden. And in this case, it is absolutely okay. And I'm really glad that we've touched upon this topic that uh, <laughs> cleared up uh, some contradictions that usually come up when you are... Yeah. Uh, when you're talking about it. And yeah. another one, it is forbidden to say you won. you won and you're absolutely correct. So the ad copy at this push notification will not pass the policy. Thank you very much for your attentiveness. And after you uh, led the person to the interactive landing page and when he invested time, when he invested emotion into it, probably he uh, pushed on the wheel and saw that he won. Or, and the only, uh, not one, but he won the possibility. Wow! <laughs> and now he has to fill in a couple of fields in order to wait for his destiny to come. Uh, and this is where the conversion magic happens on the landing page. Okay, let's move on. Uh, how it works, uh, how it works on native ads. Uh, here the situation gets a little bit more complicated because uh, Native advertisement, your particular one native advertisement, is not the only thing that the user sees on screen. So it appears as a part of a widget and your creative has to really stand out from the others. So you have to create a very, very teasing, a very attractive headline with a probably contradictive or um, interesting picture and only after that lay the person to the pre-landing page. Pre-landing page can be interactive, as in the push notification case, or native, which I like most. For, uh, for example, it can be a success story of a person like you and me who has won the prize and uh, he, might, he or she might explain which steps you need to take in order to get the desired prize for free. It creates additional credibility. So uh, this is also an option and this is what I personally prefer uh, in terms of native ads because it is more reliable since it's a 
very journalistic mm-hmm. format. I'm a journalist at heart, as everyone knows. So you create a headline in the cre- in the native ad. At the pre-landing page, you show uh, you show and tell a story, and after that. The conversion magic happens. <laughs> right. And the bonus tip. It's time for bonus tips. Yes. If you feel really confident running Swift's Hey campaigns, we offer you to add an extra push notification to the landing page and use traffic backlinks. In this case, you will receive extra money and monetize your subscribers. If you do not know how to make it and if you haven't heard about it before, visit ProPushMe platform or ask our support team for the help. We will help you for sure. So, yeah, go Go to the moon and back with your profits with (laughs) ProPushMe. Right. And uh, the last but not least, very uh, one of the oldest and the most trusted format in online affiliate marketing is on click. And it's time for a cheat mode because you don't have to think much of the creative and the prelender because they are the same person, not person. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, OnClick is uh, the creator that can be the pre-lender itself and I personally recommend uh, it to be interactive because um, Nastya has already told you that when you uh, see an OnClick ad, it is a great opportunity to see a big amount of information in the same time and it has to crave for uh, interaction because if it doesn't and the for example the pictures and ad copies don't look convincing enough you'll get the skip so uh, that's pretty much it we have chosen the strategy what's our next yeah step? and we go back to the technical stuff so Next step that you should make is to choose the bid-in model. You know that Propeller Ads provides like different types of pricing models, but we recommend you to focus on two of them. CPC, which stands for cost per click, and CPM, which stands for cost per milli or per a thousand impressions. If you're a newbie in affiliate marketing and just start your career, we recommend you to choose the CPC pricing model because it's perfect for testing, especially if you work with offers that you don't really know well and if you are an experienced user and would like to scale or would like to test the campaign that has already been tested you should prefer cpn pricing model because it will allow you to get cheaper leads in the future and let's look at the next slide please it is the targeting called user activity This is the main feature you should pay attention to user activity is the feature that allows the, to divide all users in two, in two to three different segments, like high, medium, and low. But it works differently for push and on-click ad formats. For push notifications, all users are divided in three groups according to their interactivity. In high user activity, are users that subscribe to the ads from one to three days ago, in medium from four to nine, and in low 10 plus days ago. But you can see that in low user activity category, the traffic amount is significant. While at the high user activity category, the CTR is incredible. So you need to choose what fits you better at the present moment and choose the user activity at this Point. And for on-click, it works the other way around. So the fewer times the user has seen the ad, the higher the user activity cohort is. So choose the user activity and let's move on. The targeting that is a must in our opinion is black and white listing so you should create black and white lists in order to run your campaign effectively when you just start working or when you would like to test new offer we recommend you to start campaign without black and white list but after that you will see that some zones can bring you like really good uh, profit and really good traffic and some zones will be useless so you will form black and white list on the basis of this info. You will probably spend some time on it, but it will increase your ROI return on investment and it will increase your results, of course. And Propeller Ads is a technical platform, so we integrated the auto-optimization. And if you would like to know it about it, we will talk 
about in it. In a couple of minutes. In a couple of minutes, right. And pay attention to the chat. Kira has already uh, added another wonderful link about white listing and black listing for affiliates. Uh, actually, it was one of the most frequent questions on the we- during the webinars that I've had before. So oh, wow. that's important to know. And uh, since we have uh, told the basic stuff, here are the targeting, t- the targeting tips. I have seen that there are some newbies in our chat. So so if you're inexperienced, choose offers with a simple flow, for example, registration. Try to avoid uh, double opt-ins. Uh, so go for single opt-in. That's right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a good thing to start with. Uh, use targeting uh, language targeting for multilingual countries. For example, we have Canada, we have Switzerland, we have Belgium. And all of these countries have from two to four national languages. So try to assemble creatives or translate one creatives into different languages and uh, get an A-B testing, for example. Uh, so you can see if uh, some languages probably convert more or they're equally bringing profit. Uh, so it is another another chance for you to investigate uh, something new, to find out something new about the countries you're targeting to. Uh, and uh, test device and OS targeting. It works both ways. For example, Mac and Apple users, uh, they are more willing to click. They click a lot. But we have more Android users. So it depends on your aims, but with high CTR on Apple and uh, a lot of traffic on Android, you will always will have a chance to get profit from this. And uh, if you don't get enough traffic and cannot change the bid, increase the frequency. This is the ABC of targeting in yeah. the sweepstake world. So, And here we are target CPA that we offered you to explain. The target CPA you've probably mentioned before and you met it at the Beat and Countries part of the campaign's creation page. Now it's called Smart Optimization Tools and separated as the part of the campaign's creation. So well, target CPA is an algorithm that automatically optimizes your campaigns according to the target price you're willing to pay for conversion and test budget per slice. Well, this slice is a combination of ad zone geo and operational system or the platform plus creative if you work with push notification and native ad campaigns so the algorithm divides traffic into slices and tests them separately this is the learning period after the learning period uh, slices uh, are tested once again and then the algorithm started to unlink zones that do not bring you conversions and do not bring you traffic at all so, here you can see that uh, this uh, auto-optimization are, uh, is allowed for CPC and CPM bidding models for push notification, CPC for native ads and smart CPM on on-click ad campaigns. And do not forget that before you start working with a target CPA or auto-optimization, you should set up the tracking correctly. That is the tip from us. If you have any questions, you can also contact our support team anytime or ask your colleagues in Telegram chat what they think about it. Mm, right. And Thank we you move very on much. to the next part of our webinar and I let the star shine. So here, <laughs> the info about Creatives World. Uh, yes, thank you very much. And I guess it's time for me to talk about the Creatives for Sweepstakes. Right, we'll start with the pre-lenders. Uh, we have already had a hint on this topic and here are some tips for you to get started when you are looking for a, uh, a converting pre-lender. Of course, uh, we recommend to use it all the time, not in terms of on-click because it's a cheating mode, remember? Uh, they uh, basically increase conversion, so uh, engage your audience uh, remember about emotion and time, uh, time investment and the results won't make you wait. But before launching a campaign, please test the pre-lander yourself. Make sure if everything works, if it downloads in a proper way and it's fast, if all the CTA buttons are at place, if you have all the fields, if everything's clickable, that should be clickable. Uh, and only after that, 
launch the campaign. Uh, use quizzes, surveys, rulets. We will see a bunch of uh, examples after we are moving from these tips. Uh, check your freelanders and user flow, delete unnecessary steps if you think that they are inefficient. For example, you have a questionnaire on seven questions and uh, you might shorten it up to four questions, which is, uh, which is an optimal decision for a such type of the freelanders. Uh, and uh, remember that not all the people are browsing from desktop and more and more people are uh, browsing the internet from mobile phones. So uh, keep your freelander simple and uh, make it uh, adaptive to mobile uh, to mobile devices uh, and also as a tip add positive reviews comments client feedback uh, feedback from people who has already won the prize in order to create the feeling of credibility yeah uh, and uh, as in the example uh, your goal is to convince people that the desired item is there waiting for them. And so your freelander has to capture their entire attention. It has to be interactive, simple and credible. How do you find, guys, this creative and this freelander? Is it okay? Uh, is it okay from the point of the policy or is there something missing or probably the information is fine? It's an upper page. Nope. Mm -hmm. No any comments yet? Mm -hmm. It's no. okay. I guess it's uh, and it's actually fine. Yeah, that's right. Right. It's looking convincing. Yes, and that's what we were talking about. It looks convincing. All right, uh, here are the best types for sweepstakes. We have fortune wheels where a person has to click once or twice in order to find out if he has a chance to win an expensive prize. Uh, questionnaires where people have to answer questions in an interactive mode. Uh, the one that fits to native, like landing pages with real cases and storytelling, and the other two on the next tab, please. <laughs> like quizzes and lottery. Quizzes is when you have to answer three or four simple questions in order to have a chance to win something. And the lottery is when you have to open these magic boxes. I have seen so many iterations of that from boxes to Starbucks cups. Yeah, yeah the, 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 cre the creative the mind. Creative is, is unlimited. <laughs> yes. And uh, Nastya, by the way, from your own personal experience, which one works best? Or which one our affiliates use most? Uh, in my opinion, the first option, the fortune wheel, the one that looks colorful and animated, is the one that our affiliate would really like to work with. So probably the first or maybe the questionnaire also. So I vote for the first and the second option. So those are fortune wheels and questionnaires. Guys, and what do you think on the topic? Which prelender would work best or which one would you try as the first prelender to launch in the campaign? Yeah. And while you're answering, we will, <laughs> we will go to the native ads. Uh, we have three, ty uh, three types in here, teaser, listicles and storytelling, and we've touched upon, uh, uh, touched upon each of them while talking about the creative strategies. So uh, the teaser is when you create an info prerequisite or tell a shocking story or, I don't know, leave some information hidden in order for a person to crave for more. The second one is listicles, the alpha and omega of uh, uh, native format. This is when you create a little article, for example, five ways to get a free Walmart gift card. I don't know even one. I wonder what it is. So I click and see the native freelance and the storytelling. This is the story about you and me uh, or about something that you would like to be uh, someone. Uh, so this is basically the headline for the article that is going to appear on the pre-landing page. And uh, here is an example. Uh, here is an example of interstitial. Uh, here there are two 
there, there are actually two sweepstake offers. Uh, basically, they look like uh, native in here. So you have a headline and you have a picture and the picture on the top left looks standing out from the other feed because it's very vivid. Try to use vivid colors like yellow, uh, light green, red and uh, you be, uh, your uh, creative will stand out from the other uh, bluish grayish creatives and uh, will capture the attention of the audience yeah so. i found just the interesting comment in our chat nishat says i think i'm a part of the online russian mafia please tell us why do you think so <laughs> uh he, no, he, he said he said before that he never clicks on this stuff and he's forced that's to why that's why you are on the other side there are people <laughs> who are affiliates and there are people who are creating traffic so the clickers so okay. you've ch you've chosen the right side since you don't <laughs> want to click our investment <laughs> okay let's move on right to the next slide mm -hmm. okay and uh, push notifications uh personal format so there are three uh, there are even more uh, the different different combinations uh, can be applied but still uh, there are three basic things that we need to talk about first is the system message imitation which i prefer to avoid because it is very common common for every format uh, for every type of offer that's right uh, right it can be used on dating it can be used on uh, i don't know nutra uh, and also it can be used on sweepstakes so you're just you just imitate that the device just sent a, a, a message to the to the user uh, and that's it but it's uh, but it gets uh, high CTRs especially if you look convincing so uh, that's an option I prefer private message imitation which uh, imitates the message from a real person which shares the feedback shares an emotion and also looks very credible but uh, but this is not uh, these are not the only two types there is also the third one uh, which is a classic ad message use the classic strategies of marketing limit the time limit the quantity of prices uh, tell that this price is available to a person only right now and right here just have it limited uh, and add a little bit of interactive uh, interactiveness uh, interactivity and uh, Put the dynamic content inside. I guess the newbies don't know what dynamic content is, so I will explain. The brackets uh, that surround the word city is a token. Yeah, it is I guess a, I, I guess in tech, in tech world it is called a token. And every time a person receives a message, the token uh, show, uh, displays the data that uh, the user already possesses. For example, the geotag or uh, the I, info about the country, the city. Right, uh, and the, the region, for example, the state in the USA. Uh, and uh, since I'm living in St. Peter Petersburg, I will get the message my only chance to win Galaxy S12 in St. Petersburg. So this is a, a, a wonderful tip and a wonderful uh, type of uh, life hack in order to make a personal message even more personal. Yeah, and grab <laughs> more attention. And so, yes, now we're going to the most tricky part of our webinar yes right well, since we have boosted our creativity to the <laughs> to, to the level which is like i don't know euphoric uh now we have to limit ourselves and remember that there is uh, there is a serious stuff since we're uh working with real people and we're dealing with real money so be attentive on that point and you hear in the chat that our moderators already posted the link to our policy. So please, before you start new campaign, check this link, check the policy guides and make your campaign even more better. Uh, r right. You just have to check with any legislation that can be applied uh, every time uh, that you are uh, planning to launch the campaigns for push notifications or native or any other uh, concerning the uh, sweepstake office. It is extremely important. Please check with the documentation. Uh, it is in open access and we will touch upon some common mistakes that people usually do, when, uh, the affiliates usually do when they launch the campaigns with propeller ads uh, regarding sweepstakes, of course. 
Yeah. Right. And what is not allowed from the point of ad copies? You are not allowed to speak from the name of a famous brand. Remember the Google example? That's it. Uh, don't launch campaigns with the text spelled wrong or with hidden letters. My favorite was when the word YouTube was spelled like YouTube <laughs> and uh, it was a push notification as far as I remember and I was uh, I started to call YouTube YouTube uh, right after that so thank you for a brain war man thank you for your creativity but our policy does not appreciate such tricks so be attentive with that uh, and don't use statements that a person has already won the prize and I was so happy that people mentioned my policy easter eggs about this particular point because the statement that a person has already won a prize seems very very credible and seems that uh, it will get a higher CTR but it is a lie so don't lie to your users uh, stay content <laughs> and uh, consistent in accordance to your uh, in accordance to the policy guide and in accordance to the law and please do not lie one shall not lie yeah and according to my lie. experience like according to the requests that come to support uh, we know that a lot of campaigns are uh, banned or probably rejected during these uh, uh, legislation or violations, so please be attentive to the policy guides. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is not allowed from the point of images? Don't use official logos or brand copyrighted styles in the creatives. Uh, don't use graphic and explicit images. Naked, partially naked people, provocative poses, underage naked people. Uh, th this is what really grinds my gears. I know that sex sells, but remember that your uh, advertisement has to be relevant to the offer. There are no naked girls in sweepstakes. Please stop doing that. I beg you. <laughs> And uh, don't imitate the interfaces of popular websites like Google, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Apple, and the full list you will see in the document of policy regulations. Thanks. Okay. And finally, we move to the case studies. Yay! Here we will show you examples of the best practices and examples of ineffective campaigns and we'll describe each campaign detailed. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the first example of the successful campaign. This mm -hmm. is a campaign for sweepstakes on native ads for CPC pricing model that were run in Nigeria for about a week and paid $172 with a 54% on return on investment, which is a good result. And here you can see the creatives, like dynamic, colorful. So Maria, as an expert on creatives, what do you think about this? I guess you have become uh, a creative expert too, because you've named <laughs> yeah. like a half I feel of the air, uh, yes, the air you, of creativeness. The air of creativeness. <laughs> Really? No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, things I have to comment on are uh, it's a very, very, it's a quite a short time span, like eight days, and the profit of almost one hundred dollars. Actually, it's actually amazing, and I guess it is a good combination of. Uh, Ad copy, it's a combination with a colorful picture and an interactive landing page. So uh, the creative looks attractive, the uh, price seem expensive enough. You know, when they offer you something really cheap, for example, yeah. uh, w would you click on, I don't know, uh, a mug for free? Well, I love mugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A anyway, it is, uh, it is, uh, this price is not expensive enough to be uh, set on a sp uh, sweepstakes, put at st sweepstakes uh, on the internet. So, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this, uh, that's pretty much it. This is a very colorful, uh, banner with additional information on the banner like the text and uh, the ad copy is fine and uh, you know, this interactive this wonderful colorful interactive landing page also has done its job and you can see the results yeah and the next slide is about the campaign 
for sweepstakes for the same ad format native ads, but for the other present model CPM and for the United States of America. It has been launched for about two weeks, maybe less, in June 2019 paid $29 and oh, you can see the profit and return on investment are minus both. So Maria, what are your thoughts and ideas about this? What was wrong? Well, the mathematicians say that negative result is also a result and we <laughs> have gained an experience how not to do. Uh, and in this particular case, I see the combination of common mistakes that are made. So the GU is the United States, it's a tier one country, and the price of $150 does not uh, look uh, really tempting. Uh, this is the first reason, I guess. The second one, uh, the ad copy is okay, but in comparison with the, uh, with the trends, it has to be a little bit more teasing. And we have to remember that this uh, particular advertisement will be a part of a widget and if you have a half-naked elven girl from a MMO, MMO RPG on the top and on the bottom we have for example a person who just won a million dollars in one click I would not pay attention to this advertisement yeah, in neither. particular and uh, the picture seems to be very stocky I am not against of stocks uh, I am not against stocks but still still uh, these images always look very marketing-ish and since native tries to mimic to the content of the page it doesn't have to be so selling and since it's cropped in, a, in an ugly way I do not really get what's being sold to me so I guess that's pretty much it. Those were the three reasons why this Do you feel hungry? I... no, not really actually. Let's skip this. Let's skip this. Uh, here we are! at the Q&A session. Right, now it's, it's time. your turn. But before we answer your questions, do not forget to go to the poll tab in your live storm and share your thoughts, ideas, what interesting info you got from this presentation, or maybe you have been inspired to run new campaigns in sweepstake vertical. So please share your thoughts in the poll tab of the live storm. Right. And uh, let's move to the questions that were sent us on social media. And uh, we're really glad that we see the same names uh, uh, at every webinar. Samuel, the first question is from you. Can you tell us your ideal of a perfect sweepstakes promotion? I guess we have already answered yeah, that. Yeah, probably during the uh, presentation. It, is it advisable to use a pre-lender while promoting sweepstakes? We answer yes. And yeah. the reason for that was already mentioned before. And how important are sweepstakes in today's mobile affiliate marketing? You know, uh, what I usually tell, the evergreen verticals in affiliate marketing are dating, and sweepstakes. Uh, there are probably some more, but those are the first things that come to my mind because uh, they are not uh, limited by time, they are not seasonal, and uh, people love free stuff and people love girls. <laughs> or uh, I don't know, oh, no, 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 uh, want to meet the love of their lives, right? <laughs> uh, that, uh, that's why I think that sweepstake uh, is as relevant as it was before. Yeah. Okay, and we move on to the second question, Kimo Sabe. To maximize profit, is it suggested to integrate day parting from your first campaign? If I understand you correctly, by day parting you mean the schedule. If I got you right, so um, we recommend you to start first campaigns uh, with the default schedule settings. So uh, you just start launching your campaign and add in a few hours or in days you will see that, that in certain days or in certain time of the day your campaign works really well or some days you should skip. So probably you should start with the default settings and move on to some creativeness regarding the schedule. Mm -hmm. The second question, is it recommended to pay for campaign tracking software on your first campaign 
or is it better to choose a net network or traffic source that already has campaign tracking capabilities? So uh, we know that many of you who just start working with uh, in affiliate marketing have like the limits of money, so your budgets are limited. So probably uh, buying some tracking solutions can be a bit expensive. So we recommend you to start with S2S, like server to server tracking in this case, and then if you have enough money to uh, move on, so you can buy some more advanced solutions like famous trackers or even you can create your own tracker itself so it's it okay for you right uh, so cool. the next question cool. is from Ahmed Mo uh, I am really sorry if I uh, if I pronounce it incorrectly what are the best type of ads for sweeps with the most conversion native ops or push especially that works the best with Propeller S with Tier 3 Geos. That was the topic of our presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and I really hope that you got all the uh, questions answered. Yeah, and if you still do not receive any answers, so feel free to leave a comment in chat. Mm -hmm. And we move on to the next question from also, the guy that we know. <laughs> yes, Jonathan, welcome, welcome back to our webinar. We're really glad to see you again. I've never promoted sweepstakes softwares before because they tend to look scammy and I think people would be suspicious of them, which would lead to a low conversion rate. How do we find audiences which will actually have decent conversion rates for sweepstakes offers? Well, <laughs> uh, we have already told about the scamming regarding the sweepstakes and always remember that it's up to you. Uh, since the uh, vertical itself has not vanished, it has audience. You just have to find the uh, proper offer and use proper creatives in, uh, in order to gather the audience you would like to find. So. Uh, I guess uh, it depends more on the uh, credibility of the offer, it depends on uh, how you check the information. So if it looks scammy even for you, an affiliate, of course you should ask yourself, well, mm, probably I should not do that. But still, uh, we have seen the positive experience of so many different, uh, different affiliates, so I guess it, you should take a risk as well, rely on your luck. Yeah, uh, um, and check the legis legislation, of course. <laughs> yeah, let me look in the chat, and mm -hmm. I see a first questions. The question uh, from Alexey Vershinin from Russia, probably. Uh, what CDR for freelance uh, can be considered as good for sweepstakes? So, Alexey, uh, we can say that CDR starting from one or one and a half percent is a good if you work with a medium or high user activity cohort. So start from one and one and a half. Да, Леш, CTR от единички и выше это хорошо. Sorry for Russian. Uh, yes, sorry for my Russian. I know it's terrible. I beg you to excuse me. Right. Okay, and we have, uh, I don't know, two or three questions to go. Yeah. Uh, how do you targeting can be more profitable? Which ad campaign types are the most convertible? <laughs> In my personal view, I think that if you just start working, you should focus on push notification. That allows you to create campaign uh, to talk to users personally. So try push notification and see if it works. Uh, right, uh, push notifications and on-click has already proved their efficiency, but do not cross native out from that list because it has, it has potential. It just needs to be approached properly yeah so uh, but if you're just uh, if you're just starting go with push notifications this yeah. is one of the most reliable. what do you think about native ads uh, what do I think of native ads uh, in, ter in, in terms of sweepstakes yeah, right. it's okay if you create good storytelling and uh, creatives that stand out from the other mass of uh, elvish naked girls yeah because <laughs> this, this is the next question from Kashin Yevgeny mm -hmm. do native ads work well for sweepstakes. Uh, yes, with a, with a proper approach that we have already mentioned today during the presentation. Yes, I guess so. Yeah. And as for Geo, we already mentioned before in the previous slides, 
the geos that you should focus on. Uh, so I guess that was pretty much it with our presentation. I guess we're going on screen yeah. uh, now and uh, we are watching your questions. Remember that we are limited in time and it's a miracle that we uh, <laughs> it's a miracle that we uh, managed to uh, squeeze our presentation in one hour. Yeah. So we have time for three or four questions right now. Okay. So the uh, last call for questions. <laughs> the last call for questions. We're opening the question tab. Yeah, question tab. And remember those uh, questions that re will remain unanswered. Uh, we will try to do our best and answer every single question from the question tab uh, in a separate post on social media. So uh, don't get sad if you don't get your uh, answer right away. Okay, let's look at the questions. Okay, I'll, I'm checking the questions tab. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess they are all about the optimization. So people crave for oh. <laughs> crave for communication with you. <laughs> uh, I guess this one is interesting. How to scale our campaigns if we found a winning campaign on high user activity? Yeah, that is a good question. Um, I guess that if you just start working, you should choose all user activity cohorts. So. Uh, you can receive traffic from different segments uh, and if you're pretty sure about your offer and you would like to receive a lot of traffic and you're not worried about the CTR, feel free to choose the low user activity. Mm -hmm. What so else? The others? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minimum funds is $100. Can I... As I understand you correctly, can we add like the last sum in order to test? Uh, so unfortunately, it is technically impossible. So the minimum add funds is a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I guess you should open the question tab. Well. Okay. There are so many. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I guess I found the one for you. Don't for me. We're a newbie in a small company. Right. Not that good with making attractive creatives. Well, how can you help? Like, what are your suggestions for create creative and for perfect campaign creative? Uh, well, since you are newbies, the first thing a newbie does always in in any in any part of life is learning so probably you should look at uh, the experience of uh, people who do that a little bit longer than you uh, uh, try spy services for example or just uh, follow uh, subscribe to push notifications and see what which which creatives appear most in your feed and uh, uh, learn from that and uh, we have already mentioned the tips that can be applied to your creatives uh, during the presentation so uh, learn and copy don't copy word to word please it is insulting for an author <laughs> <laughs> yes and uh, apply different approaches see uh, which approaches work personally uh, personally for your campaign mm -hmm. I uh, I, re I really hope I've answered your question. In case in, in case you still have a question, please type in the chat if, if I've made myself clear. Yeah, and I found one more question from Dexter. After how many conversions do you guys advise to do day parting? Uh, as I said before, we do not uh, offer you to pay attention to conversions first. You just need to look how much traffic you have for your campaign and decide what time of the day or what time of the week your campaign works better. So just pay attention to the amount of traffic, not the quality at first. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's time for us to decide yes. uh, wh which person gets $100 for the most exciting questions. And I would like to... Um, I don't know. Should we talk? <laughs> should, should, should we talk to decide? I don't I know. I know Why, that it's hard to decide, but 
I, I make a decision. I, I would really like to see the presentation once again <laughs> to <laughs> re remember the question. But all of the questions are actually very, very relevant. And uh, uh, and how about how about uh, I don't know. I'm I'm re I'm really excited all the time. <laughs> Uh, our moderators ask, uh, ask us not to do that, but we we would like to get excited. Uh, we have a lot of people who join uh, who join us every time that we launch a webinar, and these people have already been the winners of the webinar. And the person who asked about the creative strategies for the newbies, newbie, probably you would like to get one hundred dollars. The winner! Woo! <laughs> yes. Uh, try different creative approaches. Remember to check up with the uh, other affiliates that have already gained experience in this and be free to test your wonderful creatives in Propelgrads. Yeah, so I guess uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I know that there are a lot of questions that remained unanswered. Still, uh, remember that we will answer every one of them in, uh, the, in a post uh, that we will in a, in a separate post. Yeah. Thank you very much for attending. And it's so nice to see such warm words from you. Uh, what, one of the most fun and engaging webinar I've ever saw. I guess Aww. it's a job well done. Yay! Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much and have, have, have a great weekend ahead. Have a, have a great evening also. And don't be afraid to launch sweepstake campaigns. Yeah, Just follow, follow, follow the tips. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye! Bye.